Despite the fact that coronavirus cases here in Canada and in countries around the world has plummeted massively, there's a great deal of attention being put to the conversation of will there or won't there be a third wave? Well, I don't know whether cases will continue to plummet or whether they will rise again, but I think there's a number of points that need to be made on all of this. First of all, when I hear people talk about this third wave, it's almost done with the assumption that a third wave means a third lockdown and you got to shut her all down again and you got to close the schools down completely, shut down every store. But that's actually not what experts are saying. Increasingly, we're hearing more and more experts and public health officials basically say if there is some sort of third wave, well, we have to evolve our approach. For example, over 100 Canadian doctors, many of them pediatricians, they've signed an open letter saying schools need to open, and they have opened now across Canada, and they need to remain open, even if there's a third wave, even if community transmission arises. The only thing that would justify closing schools again, because we know kids themselves are not hard hit by coronavirus, the only thing that would justify closing schools again is if we learned that the kids were directly put at, uh, at risk of harm because of schools remaining open. Otherwise, the option for in-class learning must resume. Another interesting point of evolution on this discussion, I was speaking to Dr. Kareem Kurji the other day. He's York Region's Chief Medical Officer. Uh, that's a, a part of the Greater Toronto Area, just north of Toronto. And he said, look, we've learned from the data that the indoor social gatherings, that's the problem. That's where transmission is occurring. Retail outlets, places like that, there's no transmission occurring in those or, or very minimal amounts. I mean, the data has always showed that, but now they're starting to internalize it and say, look, if these places aren't a problem, why would you shut down stores again and these sorts of facilities? He encourages people to, to minimize their outings and so forth, take basic precautions, but he's saying, look, if cases rise again, we're not really planning to shut them again. He said, we're not planning on moving backwards. Really nice to see an attitude like that because there's some officials out there and, and, and some epidemiologists and uh, other doctor voices out there in the media who want to take as much of a doom and gloom perspective as possible. But look, we are almost a year into this. We have learned so much. And even when we did the first lockdowns, and, and by the way, that was not in the plans I've written before about all of these emergency management plans should a pandemic come to Canada. None of them talk about widespread lockdowns and they all actually talk about a scenario uh, that's much worse than we're facing now. Higher death rate and so forth and higher uh, percentage of people getting infected. None of them say you do lockdowns. But despite all of that, the original argument for lockdowns, as we know, you know, you just flatten the curve. You do it for a bit to do that, to grab your bearings, to learn about the virus. Well, we've learned quite a lot in this past year. Can we not take what we have learned and mature our response, evolve our response to have a better reaction should there be a surge of cases again, should there be a third wave in Canada. And it's heartening to see that many doctors are stepping forward and saying, yes, yes we do. A third lockdown does not have to be the answer to a third wave.